The Vanadium Redox Battery, or VRB for short, is a type of flow battery. There are two tanks of solution, one positive, one negative, with one or more cell stacks between them. The cell stack functions like the engine of the battery. A positive electrolyte solution is pumped from a tank on one side of the battery through the cell stack, while a negative electrolyte solution is pumped from a tank on the other side of the battery. A thin membrane in the cell stack keeps the two solutions from mixing together. When the battery is being charged, the vanadium 4 plus ions in the uncharged positive electrolyte give up an electron. The electrons travel up the current collector and out from the positive half of the cell stack. They then enter the current collector of the negative half of the cell stack and jump onto the vanadium 3 plus ions in the uncharged negative electrolyte, converting it into a vanadium 2 plus solution. The addition or subtraction of electrons causes the solutions to change color. When the battery is discharged, the opposite process takes place. Norma is CEO of Ashlon Energy up in Painesville. Uh, and it's a company that provides multi-megawatt energy storage solutions uh, using, and I have no idea what this is, vanadium redox fuel cells. That's one of the coolest things I've ever said out loud. Fortunately, the company has some expertise in this area. The inventor of the vanadium redox battery, Dr. Maria Skylas Kazakos, is Professor Emeritus at the University of New South Wales and a key member of the company's advisory committee. NASA had been working on the iron chromium redox flow battery, so the concept looked very, very interesting. You just have big tanks of solutions and you just pump these around and generate electricity as you need it just from the reaction. Um, but the problem with the iron chromium battery was that um, when you have two solutions pumping through a cell stack and they're separated by a membrane, no membrane can, can, is 100% efficient. So eventually you'll get the solutions mixing through the membrane. If you've got two different solutions, two different elements across the membrane, on either side of the membrane, eventually you'll end up with two mixed solutions. So we saw, okay, the, the only way to overcome that problem is to use the same element in both half cells. The VRB is a game changer in the arenas of renewable energy and grid level storage. All of us are familiar with the lithium battery found in our mobile phones and notebook computers. Lithium batteries gradually lose their ability to retain a charge and cease to work after a few hundred cycles. A lot of batteries are limited in how many cycles you can do because they undergo changes in the materials, in the solid materials, every time you cycle it, it changes its form and it, becomes, it eventually becomes inactive, so you can't keep on recycling it. In contrast, the electrolyte solution in the VRB is inert to charge-discharge cycling. Its cycle life is, theoretically, limitless. And energy can be stored for an indefinite period of time. Energy storage is going to be a criti critical component of the smart grid. And that's where you know, we're very confident that the vanadium battery is going to play an important role. Dr. Skylas Kazakis' involvement is a clear indicator of the significant role that the lac Dore and INT deposits can play in the development of the VRB and other green technology. Vanadium Corp is the supply solution for North America. 